My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today's memorial of the seven holy founders of the Servite order is a good occasion to consider the devotion that they uh, fostered and promote to this day, the devotion to Our Lady of Sorrows. The, the great motive, one of the great motives to have a devotion to Our Lady of Sorrows is that in it we find the motivation to change our lives because her sorrow is caused by the injuries that we do to her son when we sin. We heard in the first reading an admonition from St. James and advice that also can help us in conversion in overcoming our sins. First of all, he encourages us to perseverance and to not consider our trials and tribulations, particularly in the struggle to be converted and to break away completely from sin. He says, consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials. For you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And then he says, let perseverance be perfect so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly and he will give it. But he should ask in faith, not doubting. So we have, as we examine our consciences when we make confession or when we meditate to strive to acquire the virtues contrary to our prevailing faults and sins, we have great hope. We have to persevere, but those trials are what give us that testing of our faith gives us perseverance. When we feel discouraged and oh, we'll never change, that's, that's a trial, but if we push through it, we'll gain perseverance. And then the hope really is in this confidence in God's goodness, that whatever we lack, if we ask for it, knowing that God wants to give us every good thing, then he will give it to us. So we need, first of all, contrition for our sins. We need to be generous in denying ourself. We need courage to keep going when we fall, to get back up, to seek God's mercy and to continue to strive. And above all, we need charity, that, uh, that love of God. And that's the perfect Contrition. When we fall, that we're motivated to change, we're sorry because we've hurt God, not because we're simply afraid of the punishment. And so Our Lady of Sorrows then can assist us in this because when we think upon her and all of what she suffered for our sake, then we have a motive, a compassion that should soften any heart to see her suffering. And as she did at the foot of the cross, offering her sorrows for our salvation. Just read to you a couple of brief excerpts from, the, from a manual published by the Servites regarding this devotion. They begin the book with this exhortation. Souls devoted to Mary, hear and meditate on the words of Jeremiah, which the church applies to the most holy virgin. Weeping, she hath wept in the night, and her tears are on her cheeks, 
There is none to comfort her among all them that were dear to her. And again, they have heard that I sigh, and there is none to comfort me. From the Book of Lamentations. Alas, it is but too true. Few among the faithful, even among those who profess devotion to Mary, think of her sorrows. Few think how they may console her by their compassion. Let it not be so with you. Forget not the groanings of your heavenly mother, but honor her all the days of your life, being mindful what and how great perils she has suffered for you in her heart when she was standing by the foot of the cross. And then here's an invocation to Our Lady of Sorrows, especially uh, helpful in preparing for confession. O Mother most sorrowful, behold me kneeling at thy feet. Have compassion on me, a sinner, and help me by thy powerful intercession. I have sinned against Jesus, by whose precious blood I was redeemed. By my grievous sins, I have renewed the passion and death of my Savior. I have added to the anguish of thine immaculate heart. O oh, obtain that I may now be truly converted. Intercede for me that I may have a contrite and humble heart, that I may make my confession in good dispositions and be restored to the favor and love of Christ. O Mother most sorrowful, show thyself to be my mother and obtain that all poor sinners may have recourse to this healing remedy prepared for us from all eternity by love and mercy of our Redeemer. Amen. These words can only encourage those who want to follow Christ and who encounter difficulty and failure, knowing that his mother, to whom the church was entrusted, each one of us was entrusted, that she assists us with her generous and loving heart to have those dispositions necessary to make a good confession and to start again and to continue and persevere through the trials to attain what she wants for us, what God wants for us, which is holiness. May Our Lady of Sorrows assist us and may she bless in a particular way the Servite Order. Praise be Jesus and Mary.